So I majored in biology and minored in chemistry, and uh, when we got close to the uh, junior, senior year, uh, my advisor uh, recommended that I take a course in, uh, at the ag school uh, called Agricultural Biochemistry, and uh, he thought that I would enjoy that, and, uh, and uh, I had been in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, so I had no college uh, courses in in the Ag College, but he suggested I go out there. And when I went out there, uh, I really enjoyed that area of Ag Biochemistry. And so, uh, sort of the rest is history. I enjoyed it there. I took the undergrad courses, there were two, and then I was offered an assistantship uh, in uh, Ag Biochemistry and uh, got my master's in that and then my PhD in Animal Nutrition. Oh yeah, I have a lot of mentors. I, uh, my uh, my uh, uh, undergraduate advisor was fantastic. I had actually wanted to go into physiology and uh, he uh, immediately uh, uh, understood that uh, my math background was not great and, and informed me that in physiology you had to have a strong mathematics uh, background and he said that's why he suggested I go into uh, biochemistry, ag biochemistry, and so that was a very, uh, very good recommendation for me. And then uh, in uh, college, my professors on my committee, Dr. Martin, Dr. Uh, McLaren was my advisor, Dr. Les Reed, all of these were fantastic mentors. And then after coming to Illinois, uh, our department head, the man that hired me was uh, Dr. Becker. He was just fantastic as a mentor for a brand new faculty member. And uh, uh, you can learn a lot from most people if you pay attention to them. I started focusing on companion animals uh, uh, about 1990, uh, so over 20 years ago. Uh, I had been, I was hired at Illinois into a ruminant nutrition position and I did ruminant nutrition from 1976 to 1990. But I also, uh, I have a comparative background so I work with Dr. Corbin who was the companion animal professor at the time and we co-advised some students, some master's students, actually four people finished their degrees, their master's degrees. So I was uh, uh, involved, but not in a major way, just sort of as a sidelight. And then uh, in, uh, in 1990, because of a series of events that occurred, uh, they needed some leadership in the companion animal area. And uh, I was asked to consider that. And I must tell you that I wrang my hands quite a bit about that. I didn't see myself working in this area full time, uh, at least back then. And, uh, but uh, decided, yes, this would probably be a good move, and uh, it was. My greatest accomplishments are the students I've mentored. Uh, I've uh, had almost 95 uh, postdocs, master's students, and uh, a PhD degree recipients. Uh, on the research side, we've made some inroads into uh, uh, carbohydrates, dietary fibers, uh, uh, we've, uh, we have uh, some of the pet foods on the shelf uh, uh, been, have benefited from some of the work that we've done, so you could look at that. But the people that you work with, I think, are the highlight.